Oh, hi, I added a fan on the back of my camera and I also added thermal pads inside the camera and I'm hoping that this can be a permanent solution to its overheating problem. So if everything goes well and according to plan, I would have only spent like $25 for the fix. Oh, before I start, I wanted to give a huge shout out to DIY Perks as well as Banta1987 because they gave me the confidence and the inspiration to finally mod my camera. When I first initially bought this and I used this for a week for my YouTube videos, I never truly expected that this would overheat, especially filming 4K 30 FPS. And that was a huge letdown, unlike my phone, which can record for so long. So I had to find a fix, um, but I kept on prolonging and procrastinating this fix. So let's finally start with the mod and the results. Okay, so now I'm gonna set up this camera and record 4K 30 for as long as it goes until it overheats, just to have a little bit of a baseline. And now I'm just gonna get a cup of coffee and I'm gonna get back to this once it's finished. There you go. 34 minutes and it's almost overheated, 4K 30. Just a typical experience using this camera. The temperature is 70 degrees. It's pretty cold here, but it still overheats and you can imagine it overheating in a very different climate too. There you go, it overheated. It overheated at around 39 minutes. Gotta let it cool down, and then we're gonna open it, and I'm gonna apply thermal pad to it. Shit, I hope they're all the same size. Bruh. Carefully. Oh my god, this is nerve wracking. Wow. Oh. oh my god, okay, now finally we can put the thermal pads. Once again, thank you to Banta1987 for this splendid idea. This looks like a slice of cheese. <laughs> cheese. You know, most of those thermal pads are over here towards the left. Alright. Man, I hope this works. Heavy machine gun! It works. Oh my lord, thank you. It won't close all the way though. It's not flush anymore. Now we're gonna add the fan. The thing is, on Amazon, one user said that the fan is in the opposite direction. This is a semi-permanent solution because I have to keep on applying thermal pads on it if I want to remove this. But since this is just for YouTube, no problem. That's not an issue. As long as I get to film more. That's the whole point of this project. It's roughly here. The processor and everything. Hey! Looks really terrifying, not gonna lie. <laughs> but looks can be deceiving. And now we're gonna test this stupid contraption. Hopefully it works. All right, so now we're gonna redo the test that we did earlier. 
but the difference is now we have a fan and a thermal pads that we applied just a few minutes ago. So hopefully it won't overheat this time. Okay. It's plugged to an outlet using the extender. Now hopefully this time no problems. Record test starts now. It's pretty cold. All right, 59 minutes, but this is gonna stop, but only because of the recording limit of an hour. But don't you worry, I'm gonna record another video on top of the hour that we just recorded. It's gonna stop. Okay, now I'm gonna record it again. All right. All right, so this project was a huge success. I just tweaked it a little bit to make it a little bit more cost effective for me and as well as utilize both of their ideas and it somehow worked perfectly. One tiny drawback is that once it's affixed here, you cannot close the screen, but it's okay. That's a compromise. This is a video camera and I can just remove it and I have plenty of thermal pads to replace it. Anyways, thank you guys for clicking on this video and for watching it all the way through. I appreciate it. Please leave a like if you liked it and please subscribe if you want to see more of my content. That's it. Have a nice day. You can still remove it. Yeah. I made this channel cause I was just a little bored. Please subscribe. There's a whole world that we can all explore. We're all more minds. We're all more minds. We're all more minds.